So I figured I'd take a look at that power supply that was preventing my computer from booting and uh, see if I can get this thing working and then we'll see whether the capture card itself has been damaged or whether it's functional. So here's the adapter for my capture card that uh, was preventing the computer from booting. So we're going to crack this thing open and see what went wrong with it. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, that stinks. We have the classic capacitor failure. This is uh, a replacement. I've already re I've already changed this uh, power supply once. The first time it packed it in was a few years ago. It packed it in. And I grabbed an old, actually I grabbed a new one from a, a different device. But it looks like this one has also just failed. So let's see if I can get this thing apart. Here we go. We'll try and, uh, we'll try and fix this one. Because I get a feeling it's probably just it's probably just these two caps, 1,000 microfarad at 10 volt. It's likely just those two that have gone bad. It's got that crappy circuit glue in here too. But let's just see if I can find a couple caps and we'll see if that'll fix this thing. So I'm just going to pop these two caps. I'm not even going to check them because we know they're shot. And I've got a couple of replacements that are a little bit bigger. So hopefully that'll fix this one up. I know I could just replace the whole entire power supply. These things are a dime a dozen. Oops, that's not the one, it's this one here. There's one, and the other one is right here. And we know that these are toasts. Oh, look at that. Look at that wonderful circuit glue that they stick on here. It's all gone bad. Uh, the ones I've got are 16 volt, 1000 microfarads. They're a little bit taller, but uh, that's all I've got. They should, they should be able to fit in there, I would think, because these are both the same. These are both 1,000. My only concern is the height, whether they'll fit. I think we're probably okay.
Okay, put the unit back together. go back together. We'll glue this thing together but I'm going to go test it first and see whether the uh, the capture card fires up. Okay I've got the capture card plugged in. Plug in the power here. Aha! Got a light on the front. There we go. This thing's communicating now and it looks like it's going to work. Let's see if I can open my analog capture software. So let's see if I can fire up my ArcSoft Total Media Extreme and see whether it's going to actually detect the capture card here. It should show up here as my HD PVR in the source window here. And I should see the output. Okay, set for composite video. Let's switch this thing back to component video here. And this should show me 1920 by 1080 as the capture resolution as what this is for is there we go so what I use this capture card for is uh, anything that's on TV that's playing through my cable box I can just hit record for example and it will actually make a recording of what's on TV so now I'm actually recording this so I can anything that plays whether it's on HBO or the movie channel or regular broadcast TV anything that plays through my capture or anything that plays through my my TV subscription service I can capture and I'll put a I'll put this into the video so you guys can see the quality because I'm just it's just a commercial here anyway it looks like I've fixed it so uh, there you go thanks for watching